thank you both for talking with us. Um, I, I sometimes think it's weird when a movie is so heavy and about uh, such a dark subject, but the movie itself is so fantastic. Like there's so, there's such a balance. Like what was the kind of umbrella that got you in this project, both of you? Uh, for, for me, it was, it was Pete Berg. I'd been wanting to work with him for some time. He sent me the script and said, you know, I'd like you to play maybe the role of Carol. Tell me what you think. And I read the story um, thinking I knew the story, yeah. right? Because we, were, we all remember that day. Uh, and it turns out I really didn't know the whole story. And I think that's sort of what you're referring to yeah. is, you know, you, it, was, it was a very dark day and a very dark couple of days. But what the story explores and tells is um, so many heroic acts of, of everyday people and acts of compassion and, and talks about the survivors and, and the victims in a very profound and beautiful way. And um, I think that's why the, the, the film is really resonating with audiences and it, and it resonated with me. Yeah, for me, uh, being from Boston, mm. I really wanted to be a part of this. I really, um, I love Pete, and uh, I've, I've worked with Mark before, and uh, you know, it was it was um, something that I I really would, I really wanted to go home because I don't I don't get to go to Boston that often, and I wanted to go home and be. Um, just soak up the vibe, man, because it's it really is when you're there and you meet a lot of the survivors, you just get inspired, you know? You get inspired mm -hmm. to to not complain about the little teeny problems that you have, and mm -hmm. and it just strengthens you, you know? It makes you, it makes you feel good to be alive. Mm -hmm. And you are playing a real person. Yes. Tell me about that. Uh, well, I play, I play the governor who, um, who was instr instrumental on, in terms of how the city would respond and whether or not to shut the city down and the things that should be done in order to best help the police find the brothers and, and, and possibly stop them from going to New York and, and doing this in New York. And it was, um, it was daunting. I, I yeah. actually spent mm -hmm. a lot of time on YouTube looking at um, a lot of his speeches and um, his mannerisms, and and then I got to meet him halfway through the filming, and just what what a wonderful guy, what a strong guy, what a sweet guy, mm -hmm. and um, and I think uh, it was hard because I, you know, when you meet someone halfway mm -hmm. in between when you've you've already put a lot of stuff on on film, you can't really change too right. much. You go, oh, mm -hmm. he's he does this or he does that. <laughs> So I, I just let it, uh, I, I just re really appreciated him mm -hmm. spending the time, mm -hmm. you know, because he's, he's pretty busy. <laughs> and, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah, And I thought I was going to get half an hour, but we, he let me, we sat down and talked for three hours. Really. It was, yeah. it was, he was very, very nice and open. And then on the flip side, you don't play a real character, but I thought it was so interesting how your character and Mark's how they kind of represent, I feel like, uh, a, a lot of other people. Yeah, and I think they represent probably a lot of people on that day, really. Mm -hmm. I mean, so many real people. And I think what we wanted to try to convey was that, you know, they're just, these are everyday people getting up and going about their routine and getting their coffee and having eggs and having their normal conversations about kids and whatnot and sending them off and thinking, you know, you're just living your life to the best, you know. And then um, disaster strikes, essentially, and um, for for real. And it's really about, you know, these people sort of overcoming this fear, their vulnerability, and really realizing their resiliency. Their, you know, how resilient they really are, and um, and their strength and their support, and really coming together as a community. Made in Hollywood. Hey guys, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Made in Hollywood TV. Let us know what you think in the comment section below. And for the next awesome video, click right here. Click in that box right there, right there. Super easy.